In this video, we will see how to define section properties and the use of property modifiers in Midas NGen. In the Define tab, under Property, we can define the section property for 1D elements using 1D section. By clicking, we are directed to a separate section property definition tab. Here is the section ID. It is the main identity of the section property. The section ID taken here is 9 because there are 8 predefined concrete and steel section properties. The section ID is always numeric, whereas the name can be any for our reference, like C400 by 400. The material property can be selected from here. According to the material property, the section will be identified and designed as steel or concrete. The color of our section property can be chosen from here. When we ask the program to show the color of members by section property, these colors will be displayed on the structural members. We can define the section property using section template. The section template dialog box is open by default. This template is divided into two, steel section and concrete sections. In the steel sections, we can select the standard sections from code. To select the shapes, we can click on type. These are available shapes. And here is a list from the database. In the concrete sections, there are two types. Solid rectangle and solid round. Here, we can provide the dimensions as breadth 400 mm and height, let's say 400 mm. And then we can click on insert template section. The program allows us to modify the section dimensions from here. Simply double click on the dimension to be edited and provide let's say 600 mm. And press enter. To finish the definition, we can click on apply. We can see the defined section property in the model tree menu. Here, under the property branch, there is section and this is the newly defined section property. To modify any property, we can right click on the property and say modify. Let's say we change the name to 600, SB400 by 600 and click on apply. And the change will be reflected over here in the model tree menu. Let us now see how to create irregular section shape. Firstly, let us clear our space by clicking on delete all shapes. There are two ways to create irregular shape. One is by importing from a CAD file, DWG or DXF file and two is by actually sketching our irregular shape by using sketch tab. We can draw lines, circles, rectangles, arcs, profile that contains lines and arcs, and polygon. For example, we can draw a circle by clicking at the center and providing diameter of let's say 300 mm press enter and a rectangle in between one point and second point and then we can right click to finish further we can edit our section by using these editing tools like 
here I will use trim function to trim the circle and one of the edge of the rectangle after we are done with the periphery we can select all the periphery lines and click on define section now we can go to define section tab and click on show stiffness to see the auto calculated section properties we can export these values to excel sheet by right click and export to excel using this show stiffness tool we can also generate value based section property that means provide our own stiffness property irrespective of the shape to do that we can either edit it manually from here or directly copy paste the values from excel over here let us close this now the section shape that we have just sketched can be also exported into a dxf or dwg file now to finish the definition we need to firstly check with the name let's call it as irregular and then click on apply we can see that property over here in the model tree menu now let us close this section definition tab from the model tree menu we can also import the section properties from previously created Midas engine model file simply right click on the section and click on import select the model file and click on open all the properties will be defined with a new section ID now let us see how to assign section properties to the member we can select our member and from the properties menu we can simply select another section with many members we can select all of them together and simply drag and drop the property anywhere on the workspace and that is it to define the thickness for 2d elements we can click on 2d thickness select the material property provide thickness of let's say 100 mm and click on ok to finish the definition when it comes to a 3d solid the property is defined by selecting the material property and click on OK. The 2D property also will be reflected in the model tree menu under thickness. And the solid property will be reflected under the solid property branch. When it comes to section property modifiers, we can click on stiffness reduction and section here we can provide a name like beam so that the same stiffness property modifier will be assigned to the selected beam members here let's say we provide scale factor as 0.35 for flexural stiffness in major direction and click on add similarly we can define the stiffness reduction factor for column provide 0.7 in the major and 0.7 in the minor axis and click on add and close Similarly, we can define the stiffness reduction scale factors for walls and slabs. Now to assign the stiffness reduction factor to our members, we shall go to the member tab. We'll click on the drop down for assign stiffness scale factor and click on assign stiffness scale factor. We can select the stiffness reduction factor that we just defined. 
select the member and click on OK. When we click on the beam in the property at the bottom after we assign we can see this stiffness scale factor set and from here as well we can modify the stiffness scale factor. Similarly we can assign the stiffness scale factor for the walls and the slabs. In this way we have seen how to define and assign section properties as well as section property modifiers in Midas engine.